So, structure of the atom begins in the center. It's called the nucleus. And inside the nucleus we have both protons and neutrons. And uh, protons are actually pretty happy that they're at the center of this uh, so-called party, right? So these guys are going to be positive. Neutrons don't really carry the way, so, so they have uh, no charge. So, so as their name implies, they're just neutral. Okay. Now, protons and neutrons both weigh about the same, and these guys are going to be pretty heavy. All right. So we'll just say that... Uh, in terms of weight, protons and neutrons are going to be heavy. If I could spell heavy right. So, <clears throat> both protons and neutrons are going to comprise uh, the majority of the mass of the atom. And uh, as stated, they both weigh about the same. So, on the outside are electrons. Now the electrons are kind of angry that they can't get in the middle so they're going to be negative. Negatively charged. And the reason why they can't bust into the center is because these guys are very light. They're not as heavy as the protons and neutrons so they're going to stay around the outside. Okay. Now all of uh, all the elements in the periodic table are made up of this atomic structure. However, they are going to differ in the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons they have. So if we go to the periodic table, this number on top of the symbol, for example, hydrogen, is a one. That means that it is one proton. Uh, lithium, uh, the number above it, uh, the atomic number three, means it has three protons. The number above beryllium, uh, called the atomic number, is 4, since it has 4 protons, and so on and so forth. Iron's going to have 26 protons. That's its atomic number. The atomic number of carbon is 6, so it has 6 protons. Okay. So, <clears throat> atomic number... equals the number of protons. All right. Now, the number of protons is going to equal the number of neutrons. And the number of protons is going to equal the number of electrons. So, in other words, protons are, are the ones really running the show here at the center of the nucleus. They're going to determine the number of neutrons you have as well as the number of electrons. Okay. So l let's go back to these atomic numbers here. Uh, if magnesium has 12 protons with an atomic number 12, uh, the number just above the symbol, that means it has also 12 neutrons. And how many electrons is it going to have? Also 12. Let's try uh, boron. How many protons does boron have? Well, five. And how many neutrons is it going to have? Five. And how many electrons does it have? Five. And so on. Gold has 79 protons, 79 neutrons, and 79 electrons. Okay. So that's atomic number, protons, neutrons, and electrons. All right. Now, if you add up the number of protons and neutrons, you're going to have a mass number. And that's going to be double the, uh, uh, the atomic number. Because if you, if you know that, let's say, titanium's number of protons is 22, and it has also 22 neutrons, its mass number is going to be 44. Okay, if 
the number of protons in uh, lithium is three, and the number of neutrons is, is three, it, its mass number is going to be six. Right? We don't take into account the electrons because the electrons are very light, so, so they really don't come into effect when talking about mass. So mass number equals number of protons plus number of neutrons. All right. So the question remains then, if we're talking about, for example, atomic weight of, let's say, carbon, all right? Carbon's atomic weight, you might suspect, will be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, which is its mass number, 12, since that's going to make up the bulk of carbon's weight. However, if you notice, it's not 12. The atomic weight written just below the symbol on the periodic table is 12.0107. Why isn't it 12 if you just have to take the number of protons plus the number of neutrons? Well, the, 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 the reason actually is that anytime you pick up some carbon, you're going to have a little bit of carbon-13, which is an isotope, and that's going to give it a little bit more mass. All right, what does that mean? Well, sometimes you might see carbon written like this, and this 13 is actually the mass number, while this 6 here is the atomic number. Why are these guys now reversed? Why is the atomic number written on bottom and the mass number or something having to do with the weight or mass written on top? Well, that's just the way it is, folks. But the way this is written here has nothing to do with the way these symbols are written on the periodic table in terms of the numbers and identifying uh, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons they have. Okay. If you see something written like this, you know that if there's a 13 near the C, this is a carbon isotope meaning that it has one more neutron than it's supposed to have. Okay. Because it says here that the number of protons is six, and if its mass number is 13, that means it has one extra neutron. Six plus seven is 13. All right. 